Kentucky bill bars schools from mandating support for trans students. So, you know, we've seen a lot of stuff going on uh, about uh, proposed legislation for bans of, of different things in schools and things like that. This one's a little bit different because it, for, it, it restricts schools from forcing teachers and, um, and school officials from supporting trans folks. Republican lawmakers in Kentucky have announced a bill Thursday to allow teachers to misgender their, their transgender students, uh, despite pleas against it from the senator, uh, from a senator whose a transgender son died recently. The Republican heavy Senate Education Committee heard comments and pleas from transgender advocates warning that the measure would put transgender youth at greater risk of harm. Democratic Senator Karen Berg whose transgender son died by suicide last year, was in the audience making sure that her colleagues had to, quote, make that vote in front of me. She said she was praying that her colleagues would have enough respect to not push the bill forward. Despite all of this, the bill won overwhelmingly overwhelming approval from the committee the day after it was introduced by Republican Max Wise, advancing it to the full Senate. Proponents of the bill called for an end to unnecessary distractions and woke agendas in schools. Opposition talked about how uh, politicizing trans people is harming and killing trans kids due to the increased bullying, violence, and attempts at suicide. The measure is unique, as I said at the outset, because of its scope, uh, how it focuses on prohibiting school administrators from mandating that staff and educators support transgender students. It bars policies compelling school staff to use pronouns and uh, that don't conform to a student's biological sex. I'm going to put biological sex in quotes because I always have a an issue with calling, um, you know, cisgender people biologically whatever when there's a lot of biology involved in trans people as well. The bill also prevents education leaders from requiring students information be kept confidential from their parents. However, schools could still choose to withhold the information if they believe releasing it to the parents would lead to abuse. So again, it's that thing where it's you can't make policies in schools that force teachers and administrators to support and protect trans kids. The schools can then make the choice. And of course, we've seen in so many instances schools and policymakers that will take that as an opportunity to abuse trans kids. So it's very unfortunate. Wise promises the bill does not prevent students from requesting identification by a non-birth conforming pronoun, nor prevent staff and students from addressing those students with non-conforming pronouns, Wise tells the committee. Transgender advocates push back. Mason Chernowski, a transgender man, transgender man said, I was out at school because it was so nice to have one place where I could just be myself and have people call me the right name. However, I was terrified that someone at my school was going to tell my parents, continuing that if that had happened, quote, everything was going to get so much worse for me. He didn't seek out the mental health support his friends received out of fear that school officials would tell his parents. I, um, and he says, I was one of those children whose mental health would have been harmed by this bill. In addition to the provisions barring mandatory support of trans youth, the bill would also require that parents be notified two weeks in advance and allowed to review materials before any sexual sexuality instruction begins at their schools. The bill's passage was a foregone conclusion, though, with open comment periods as a formality because both the Kentucky Senate and the House have Republican supermajorities. So not much to be done or said about that one. It just um, was, like I said, a foregone conclusion. But um, it was nice to see the, the good points being made about um, how stuff like this still ends up harming kids because so many people who are in charge of our youth are going to feel empowered to not support them and not use their their pronouns and their chosen name.